Hi folks, uh, this is chapter 12, a single cylinder engine. I'm trying to uh, record a tutorial so that uh, in case I miss the lecture uh, today, at least you guys can, uh, can see it later uh, at your leisure. Uh, the, the problem that I want to do is uh, this uh, 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 the cylinder, single cylinder engine. Uh, which is the more fancy version or the fancier version of the Stoiler crank that we have already looked at. Uh, this is made of the following parts. There is a crank here, there is a connecting rod, a piston, uh, and a pin. That pin holds the connecting rod uh, to the, or uh, fixes it to the piston. And then there is the engine block. So let me start making the connecting rod and then uh, we move on from that point on. Uh, I'm going to ignore all dimensions. So uh, here is a product file and right away I'm going to save it. File, save management, uh, save as. <coughs> on the desktop, I create a folder and I'm going to call it the single cylinder engine. Okay, so uh, everything is going to go in here. <coughs> Let me insert my first part, which is the uh, connecting rod. So insert a new part in there. We always, uh, well, I'm going to change the name of this so that it says uh, 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 connecting rod, con rod. Conrad and Conrad. All right, let's make the connecting rod. Double clicking on Conrad, that will land you in the part design. Okay, so on a convenient plane, let's say on uh, this plane, which happens to be the exact plane, I will sketch. So, uh, let me do something like this. Then I'll clean it up in a minute. Okay. Uh, this, this piece I don't want, so I'm going to delete that. All right, so uh, let's see. We want to make this thing symmetric, so that center of that circle, control this axis. I'm going to make them... Uh, uh, coincident and it looks like the center of this is already there okay great now let me make a little circle here this is where the pin is going to go and another one at the other end where the crankshaft is going to go and exit <coughs> and I'm going to pad it but when I, uh, all right it looks like there are the open uh, curves here so let's fix it uh, so uh, let me say uh, cancel, okay, let me go to that sketch, things like this happen, you just have to fix it. Uh, there may be some open, uh, you know, some gaps here that are hard to see, so let me go to tools, sketch analysis, and we've got, this one is open, so I select it, and then using uh, this one, this icon, we're going to close it. So everything is closed now, exit and now pad it. Remember I was getting a, a, an error message before. So I'm going to do it with mirror extent so uh, uh, it does in both directions and for a thickness of 0.1 in each so it's going to be 0.2 altogether the thickness of the connecting rod. Good, so this is done. What does melt save it? So let me save this. It looks like this is too too thin, so let me make the thickness a little bit bigger. So maybe 0.2 to make it sturdier as far as the look is concerned. All right, now we're going to insert the second part, insert a new part, and uh, we say no, and I'm going to make that thing the, uh, how about making that the piston? So right click uh, properties, <coughs> make that piston. 
and piston. Good. Let's make the piston. On a convenient plane, and for me, uh, the convenient plane would be uh, how about, uh, let's see, uh, not this one, why is it, uh, sure, so that, that's good, why is that plain, I will sketch. Okay, so uh, here's what I'm going to do, uh, the, the piston, it's going to look like this. We may have to do some cleanup later on. Here the groove for the piston ring. Okay, that looks good. And that looks good. And I'm going to close it. Uh, I decided to make the top flat in the book. The top may be actually curved, but that's okay. So for now, I'm going to leave it the way it is. I can hide this. And uh, this is going to be the, the piston. As I said in the book, this may be curved, so uh, I'll leave it to you to work that out. So exit, and then I'm going to shaft it. There is a shaft. So shaft, that sketch, about the uh, z-axis. Okay, here is complaining that, you know, uh, it, it probably works, but there is a complaint here, actually, I guess, uh, here's what I'm going to do, cancel that, let's go back to that sketch, delete this line, and I think now it should be okay. So exit, and shaft it, <coughs> shaft uh, the sketch about the z-axis, I'm pretty sure this is going to work now. Hmm. Oh, I see. Answer that. No, it is complaining. So let's go back there. Oh, you know what? I have a feeling that you see these points? These have passed the x axis. Maybe that's what's going on. Right. So it's very easy. So I'm going to uh, select this point, control that line, and I'm going to make it coincident. Okay, and same thing here. I think that was the problem. This this point, this point, well actually, I guess you have to do it again, yeah. This point, control that line, make it coincident. Okay, good. Exit, and let's do it another try. Shaft, there is my sketch about the z-axis and lo and behold, it works. There it is. Okay, so the thing that I want to do is I want to create, uh, you know, some uh, uh, flat, uh, flat faces here. So uh, let me look at, let me select, for example, the, I'm going to bring the connecting rod, which is in hiding, and uh, see how it, it's situated, situated with respect to this. So, okay, so on a plane, on this plane, which happens to be YZ plane, uh, I will sketch. I'm gonna draw a rectangle here. You'll see what the rectangle does later on. You know, I have to do something about the graphics on my card. Uh, on my computer because uh, it's not supposed to be like this. So let me change the rendering so that you can see better what's going on. There, this is what happened. Whoa. Right. right, right. So uh, uh, exit <clears throat> and make a pocket here to remove material uh, from both sides. And you can go far enough so that it actually removes it like that, okay? If you want to know what has happened, so let me change the rendering back to edges. It looks like this. The only thing is that it looks like I've gone too far. That rectangle has gone too far into the pit. So let's go.
go here and just go back to that pocket right there. This is too far, gone too far to the to the left, so I'm gonna you know bring it out, exit, and it's much better now. But there's still a little uh, dimple here, so uh, maybe one more time, move it a little bit further. Still there. All right, that's, that's okay. That's not a big deal. So I want to pocket uh, mirror this thing exactly on the other side. So where is the mirror thingy? The mirror, the mirror is right here, and you click on it. And read it carefully, it says select a plane. So it's the pocket that I want to mirror, and the plane is the vertical plane, which is, I suppose, the exit plane. So that also appears on the other side. All right, good. So on this plane, I will sketch a circle. Now, the circle. I want to circle this size, okay? Well, there's, there's, uh, it's easy to fix it, and that is, let me, let me do the following. Uh, let me go to the assembly design, uh, bring this thing down in the Z direction, translate it in the Z direction. Okay, good. And then change the rendering so that I can see that circle. You can see that? So, on that face, uh, oh wait, let's go back to the piston. I have to go back to the piston. So on that face, I want to sketch. And I'm going to project this. Project this. Okay, good. Exit. And I'm going to make a pocket all the way through. So a pocket all the way through reverse direction oops uh, reverse direction uh, reverse direction that's what I'm on say okay Let me change the rendering to show you what happened I really apologize there's something wrong with the graphics on my card uh, on my computer so uh, that doesn't happen to you guys okay so you can see what happened now the next thing I want to do is I want to remove material from the piston. Removing material, you can do it by shelling. The shelling operation is right here. Uh, dress, up, dress up feature, shelling. <clears throat> you select this face, and you give it the thickness. Right now, it's 0.039. I don't know, that may be too small. I may have to change it. So let's say OK, and this is what happened, right? This is what happened. <laughs> However, this should also go. So I click back, click back on the shelling, and for another face to remove, I add this thing to it. So there's two faces to remove, and now you can see that material has been removed. These little things that, I, that you see here is because of that dimple there that you have to figure out what, what the problem was. So, uh, that can be fixed. So uh, let me make this thing, by the way, a little bit thicker. So point, uh, how about making point one? Yeah, good, good. I don't like, like these things, but I'm sure when you do it, you can fix it. So this is gonna be the piston and the connecting rod. Now, the last thing that I wanna do here, right here, is create the, pist the pin that goes through these things. So, uh, save everything. <coughs> insert, insert, and, uh, let's see now, insert, a new parts, say no, and let's call it the pin, right click properties, pin, and pin. Okay, let's make it. On a convenient plane, say on this plane, I will sketch. Well, actually, we have to go to the pin first. Okay, let's go there. On this plane, I will sketch. I want to circle this side, so why don't we project that circle right there? Did I do it? I'm not sure, I'm not convinced. This circle. Maybe, maybe we did. I'm not sure. 
Let me see what we got here. Yeah, I've done a few few projections. So uh, uh, let me uh, let me see. Let, let me delete these things. But I'm not really convinced that this thing worked. So uh, uh, let's see now. Where are we? We are there. Uh, Where are we? Exit, exit, before we can delete that. Exit. Uh, well, actually, oh, right there. It's projected, right there. Good, good, never mind. So we're gonna pad this thing. That sketch. That sketch. Uh, Self-intersecting. I have a feeling that we had, we had projected too many things. So let's, you know, let's clean it up. So delete the sketch. Delete these, uh, these things, delete, delete, delete. Okay, good, let's try it one more time. On that face, I want to sketch. And I'm gonna project that circle. So project that circle, okay, and exit and pad it. So pad this circle, this circle, and all the way to the plane, the plane on this side, and we say, okay, there. So there is your pin, you can see that. All right, so let me save everything. I'm gonna stop this video because the second part of it is gonna be done uh, in, a, in, a, in the second segment, okay? So save everything. I want to see whether this actually, the video worked, all right? So let me stop.